HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Fletcher Tilton, Attorneys at Law, serving Central Massachusetts and beyond with responsive solutions. Integrity, leadership, and excellence, Fletcher Tilton. And by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. And by Compass at Hopkinton, offering innovative programming that treats the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease in a caring, secure residential setting. More at compasshopkinton.com. Welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the anchor desk to let you know everything going on in Hopkinton. On today's special edition of HCAM News, it's time for the holidays, and we take you around to holiday festivities throughout Hopkinton, including a performance honoring the troops from Enter Stage Left, Santa made an appearance at the library, and the Treblemakers hosted a holiday concert. We start off at Hopkinton Drug as they held their 26th annual holiday open house. <laughs> Hopkinton Drug held their annual open house. The event featured some sing-alongs for the kids, popcorn, cookies, and snowman design. There was also a raffle for Project Just Because and many other events that took place throughout the open house weekend. HCAM News caught up with Project Manager Terry Anthony. This is our 26th annual open house. Um, there's many people here, there's um, all kinds of uh, vendors sharing their wares, many entertainers are here today. We have arts and crafts for the kids, face painting for the kids. Dennis, the owner of Pop Pinch and Drug, has made chocolate chip cookies, 3,000 of them, to share with anybody who comes in today or tomorrow from 11 to 4. And then Santa will arrive at noontime both days. Uh, what else can I tell you? There'll be tea tastings, Republica tea, and also tea forte. We also have um, Freshwater uh, Farm is here today with their food sampling as well. Right now we have Amanda Maffei here who's doing um, a children's performance and she's got all the kids working with instruments and singing Christmas carols. She also brought her son and a friend who are on the horns, um, so that was a nice treat. And then Cheryl Melody will be coming. She will be coming this afternoon at 2.30 and tomorrow as well. She'll be here first thing in the morning. Uh, we also have at 1 o'clock both days, we have um, the barbershop um, barbershop singers coming. Uh, they're called New Sound Assembly and they'll be here. Uh, they're a favorite. So there's a raffle going on. We have many, many beautiful baskets made by Karen of Hopkinton Drug. Uh, all different themes and they're being raffled off as a benefit for Project Just Because. 100% of all the, all the monies will go to Project Just Because. Arts and crafts for the kids as well. Yeah. So, And that's with Olga. Olga is um, an old employee of ours who now runs a, um, and an old teacher as well. And she has a business in Framingham, Massachusetts that's called Noah's Art. And so she comes every year and shares um, arts and craft activities with the children. So she's here both days as well. The cookies they were handing out at the open house were absolutely delicious. A lot of holiday happenings around Hopkinton throughout December. Let's take a look at some of the sites. You can find photos from all the Hopkinton holiday festivities on HCAM.TV as well as our sceneinhopkinton.org. In this first photo, the Treblemakers sung Christmas tunes to a full house in Doughty Hall at the Masonic Lodge. This photo was sent in by Denise Antaki. In this next photo, it was tweeted out by the Hopkinton Police Department. Santa and his helpers stopped by HPD headquarters to check out the naughty list with Officer O'Brien. This photo also from the Hopkinton Police as HPD hosted their annual Senior Citizen Appreciation Dinner at the Senior Center. This next photo is from the Southeastern Middlesex Community Band 
as they performed at the annual Christmas concert at St. John's Parish Hall. This photo from the St. John's Children's Choir performing at the annual Christmas concert at the St. John's Parish Hall. And this next photo, HCAM's Hopkinton Coffee Break got in the holiday spirit. At the Chamber of Commerce annual holiday gathering, Ronald Eldridge was honored by the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce and received a citation from the Massachusetts House of Representatives, which was given by Representative Carolyn Dykema. More photos are available from the event at seedinhopkington.org. In this photo, the Hopkinton High School choir and strings rehearse before their winter holidays concert. Enter Stage Left Theater honored Hopkinton's veterans during their production of a USO Christmas. For more photos, you can check out hcam.tv and also seen in Hopkinton.org. HCAM is currently looking for photos from around the community to display on our homepage. If you have a cool photo of something Hopkinton related, please email me, news at hcam.tv. Currently, if you email in a photo we can use, we will give you a limited edition HCAM 10th anniversary 24 ounce Tervis tumbler, perfect for coffee. Despite the rain, a lot of the community showed to watch the traditional lighting of the town common Christmas tree. It was a rainy Saturday on the town common, but the Christmas spirit was in the air. Here are some of the sights and sounds from the Christmas festivities. Here you can see the daisies performing some Christmas tunes. The performance led up to a visit from Mr. and Mrs. Claus and the lighting of the town common Christmas tree. A lot of spirit being out here on such a lovely day and uh, I must say I'm very glad to see you and I hope you're having a good time. I'm going to hand this over to Mrs. Claus to say hello. Hello everybody Merry Christmas! I hope everyone's been very very good this year and I hope that you're all taking good care of your parents because they need your help. tree looks terrific. Are you looking for a last minute Christmas tree or wreath? A few Hopkinton Boy Scouts have your solution. 
Boy Scouts of America Troop 1 have Christmas trees and wreaths for sale at 61 Main Street in the Colella's Supermarket parking lot. Sales continue for the next couple of weeks. Hours include Wednesdays and Thursdays 4 to 7 p.m., Fridays 4 to 9 p.m., Saturdays 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sundays 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Scouts showed off their wreaths with a little promotional dance. The tree and wreath sale has traditionally been Troop 1's biggest fundraiser of the year. Yeah. Buy it for Pack 26 and Cub Scouts. We're at Colella's. We're in the parking lot of Colella's. And we're in the red tent. Get the wreaths while you still can. They're pretty. They're really, you really pretty. Get, you might get a rare glance at one of us wreath people. Yes. <laughs> the beautiful wreath people. Once again, the hours you can buy the trees and wreaths, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 4 to 7 p.m., Fridays, 4 to 9 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's over in the Colella's parking lot at 61 Main Street. I'll tell you, I took a look at the Colella's parking lot, and there is not a lot of trees left. The promotion by the Scouts must be working well. A lot more to come on HCAM News, including a look at the treble makers and enter stage left performances. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to HCAM News. Enter Stage Left Theater recently performed a USO Christmas and reenacted some of the greatest musicians and actors known, such as Judy Garland and Frank Sinatra. The performance is a tribute to the men and women of the United Service Organizations who protect our country. Who's on first? One base at a time. Oh, I'm not changing the players. I'm not changing the players. Enter Stage Left Theater honored Hopkinton's veterans during their production of a USO Christmas. Reenactments included Abbott and Costello, Al Jolson, the Andrews sisters, Ann Sheridan, Burt Lahr, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra, among many more. Here is a few looks at the performance. Ain't you cruel, you lonely man?
A terrific job by all the performers. Children at the Hopkinton Library were recently surprised during a story time by the big jolly guy some call Santa Claus. And laying a finger aside of his nose, giving a nod up the chimney he rose. Youth Services Librarian Denise Coffrin read the children Little Santa, which tells how Santa ended up living in the North Pole. After Denise read the story, the kids got to meet a very special guest. Robe out of sight. Oh, 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 and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Are we all excited about Christmas? Yeah! And have we all been good girls and boys? Yeah. Raise your hand if you've been a good girl and boy. Excellent. Do you want to hear Santa read you a story? Yeah. Santa's going to read Santa Claus and the Three Bears today. What a what a splendid idea, Santa explained and took a spoonful from a great big bowl. This pudding is too hot, he said, and tasted the pudding in the middle-sized bowl. This pudding is too cold. He decided to move on to the pudding in the wee little bowl. This pudding is just right, he said, and he ate it all up. Then Santa sat down in Papa Bear's chair. This chair is too hard, he said. He sat down in Mama Bear's chair. This chair is too soft, he said. And then he sat down in Baby Bear's chair, and it was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. So then Santa bounced up and down a little just to get comfortable, and the chair broke. And Santa landed, boom, on the floor. I know. Santa, I know, it's a story though. Santa picked, Santa picked himself up and decided he needed a little nap before continuing on his way. He took his sack and went upstairs and he found three beds in a row. Santa Claus lay down on the bed of the puppy bear and said, this bed is too high. He then got up and tried the After Chris Kringle, otherwise known as Santa Claus, read Santa and the Three Bears, he then met with the children to get their Christmas wishes and take some pictures. The Treblemakers connected with Enter Stage Left Theater recently packed Dowdy Hall at the Masonic Lodge, and the place was rocking with Christmas and holiday tunes. And a broken pitfall. 
Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, all the souls on earth shall sing. On Christmas Day in the morning. And heaven and nature and sing. Heaven and nature and sing. Heaven and nature and sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. You can see more of the Troublemakers as well as other holiday programming and events on HCAM. Here is our promotions coordinator, Courtney, to fill you in. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. Tonight at 7 p.m., check in with the Elementary School Building Committee as they give their December update. The Conservation Commission was filmed as one of the meetings of the week and it will air on Sunday, December 21st at 4.30 p.m. The Natural Hazard Mitigation Plan public meeting was also filmed and will air on Sunday at 5.30 p.m. On Monday, December 22nd at 6.30 p.m., the Elementary School Building Committee will air live on HCAM TV, and it will air on our live stream at hcam.tv slash live. On Tuesday, December 23rd at 6.30 p.m., Santa Claus makes a surprise stop at the library for story time. At 6.55 p.m., listen to some holiday music with Brian Best. At 7.30 p.m., the Troublemakers perform in the Troublemakers Christmas concert. And at 8.30 p.m., Ron Eldridge is honored in the Chamber of Commerce holiday party. On Wednesday, December 24th at 9.30 p.m., audience members take the stand to share their original works and wake up and smell the poetry. While other flowers get fertilized and groomed to be a source of pride, weeds got to make it on their own. Disrespected by the do-gooders, we just turn a deaf ear. Because we got strength in numbers and impudence to spare. On HKM Ed, we bring you the Playing for Shane music event. We also have the 6th grade winter concert, 7th grade winter concert, and the high school chorus and orchestra winter concert. Check hcam.tv slash education for program dates and times. Boys and girls basketball, swimming, and ice hockey are also back for the season. So check hcam.tv slash schedule and hcam.tv slash education for program dates and times. If you know someone who wants to have the HCAM Insider delivered to them every week, have them send me an email at Courtney at HCAM.TV. Also, please pass it along to a friend and help us grow. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will wrap up this edition of HCAM News. Be sure to check our website, HCAM.TV, or find us on Facebook to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton, including local holiday events coming up. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, send it to me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. We wish you the very best and joyous holidays. Take care and be well. Yeah.